My name is Drew Camden and this channel is Rotor Riot. And I and we are all about flying FPV freestyle drones. It's our passion, it's our lifestyle, it's our business. At the end of 2019, the Federal Aviation Administration released a notice for proposed rulemaking, a set of new regulations that they want to put into effect. We are not fully certain of how best to handle these proposed regulations. But what we do know is that there's a lot about them that is very damaging to the great hobby and sport of FPV. It's a threat to our business and every FPV related business. So what we do know is that we want to do something about it. I I'd wanted to make a video when I knew exactly what the right calls to action are and we're still working on that, but there's been enough calls within the community to know what's going on. What do we think about this? What are we going to do? And, and there is a need to raise awareness. A lot of you that watch this channel may not be uh, keeping up with FAA notices. So to let you know what's going on, uh, these regulations would change how the skies can be used entirely. It would end the hobby as we know it. And I mean specifically as we know it. We won't let it end the hobby. We'll always find ways to enjoy flying RC aircraft, specifically FPV. We'll always persevere through that, but it really threatens a lot of the ways we do things. Now, a lot of the amazing parts of this hobby, namely uh, building your aircraft, all, all the learning benefits that come from learning to assemble these things yourself, tune them yourself, set it up and build. I mean, that's such a crucial part. That's almost as much fun as flying. And these new regulations severely limit where and how self-built aircraft can be flown. It really restricts the drones that they want in the air to be drones that are produced by authorized manufacturers. It's going to be a very limited amount of companies that are going to be able to meet the requirements to, to become an authorized manufacturer of drones. So a lot of uh, companies like Rotor Riot that have been serving the community, uh, creating ready-to-fly options, selling parts for people to build their own drones, that's, that, I don't see how that can continue. So then even if you do have an authorized drone, these authorized drones need to be equipped with a remote ID system. And there's a few forms that the proposal outlines that it can take, but the bottom line is that these drones need to be capable of talking to a network telling the network where the drone is in space, how fast it's going, where you are, who you are, really takes away all <laughs> privacy and flying. Now, in the case of commercial flights, which is really what this proposal is designed for, we can see a need for this. If there are, say, delivery drones traveling across state lines, I can see why they might want some pretty advanced air traffic control that can track these things. But the big problem with this proposal, it doesn't distinguish between that case and our case of flying around a parking lot. The proposal as written essentially expressly forbids a drone that I built from hovering even one inch off the ground. That airspace, just even an inch off the ground, is the concern of a federal government agency. And we just don't see how, how this can fly, <laughs> so to speak, how uh, this can be the only solution. You know, there has to be something in between providing for the future of commercial drone flight, which we know is coming, and we look forward to that future. And it does need to be provided for. There do need to be regulations, but in no way, shape, or form does it require the elimination of recreational pilots, of DIY builders. The restraints that this proposal is, is putting on the hobby are, is not acceptable. As of now, it's a proposal. So the most immediate thing that's going to need to be done is making a comment, a formal comment on this proposal. Uh, the commenting period is open until the beginning of March, and we will leave a link in the description to where you can make your comment. And we would like to provide you with uh, guidelines for the best ways to comment. And we are working with uh, the FPV Freedom Coalition and other organizations to make sure that we fully understand how this commenting 
thing works. It's all new to us, so we're learning so that we can help you figure it out and make the most of commenting. So once we've got a good grip on it, we will also leave a link to that video or that document or whatever that we uh, put together to help explain how to leave the best and the most effective comments that are actually going to be read and received by the FAA. So commenting is something that's important to do and we need to make sure that we get it done within the commenting period. Another thing that we want to do to approach this issue is look at other uh, pieces of legislation that might be able to protect our, protect our hobby and protect our small uh, hobby industry. One such piece of legislation is a bill called the Drone Zoning and Integration Act. It was proposed by Senator Mike Lee. So what this bill would do is, is create a law that would give the rights of zero to 200 feet of airspace to the owner of the property for which that airspace is over. This makes a lot of sense to us. I should be able to fly in my backyard up to a reasonable height without it being the concern of a federal government agency. You would be able to fly in any locally or city owned parks that permit flying. You would be able to fly over any property that you own. We would be able to continue to fly at any location that we haven't not been given permission to fly at. We'll leave it at that. It would really provide for a, a safe way to enjoy our hobby, wherein commercial operations could still take the 200 to 400 foot range and carry out all the flights that they need to do. And the zero to 200 could be used for anything, whether you wanna fly uh, your privately owned recreational drones, you wanna fly a kite, or even if you as a property owner want to say that you don't want drones in that airspace, that's up to you. This bill would also give you that right. So we think it's a really fair way to treat the airspace, taking into consideration who owns the property and giving that property owner the right to control a reasonable amount of airspace. So this is something that we're very interested in. We're not 100% certain of the best ways to support it, so that is another item that we are actively pursuing and we will update you as soon as we know what we're gonna do and how you can help. There will be a link in the description to that once we've got that sorted out. So that's what we're working on. For now, there will be a link to that bill itself so that you can read the Drone Integration and Zoning Act and figure out what you think about it and call Senator Mike Lee yourself. His number will be in the description. We're trying to get a hold of him. You can help try to get a hold of him and we can figure out how to pursue this bill that would provide for a really reasonable ownership of airspace that any property owner should be entitled to. This is a very important moment for the FPV community, for the entire RC community to come together and make sure that we address this. Thank you guys for listening. Stay tuned. We will keep you updated. <laughs>